In this video, we look at problem solving with a sine law and cosine law. So here's a very wordy problem. The easiest way to deal with these problems is to draw a picture. So we have uh, Jill stood at a distance admiring a tree. So I'm going to draw, start with a tree. There's our tree. And she measured the angle of elevation. So the angle of elevation to the top of the tree was 15 degrees. So here's... Jill measuring angle of elevation. Remember the angle of elevation is measured from the horizon and it's 15 degrees. She then walked 31.4 feet closer to the tree. So Jill is standing kind of over here and she's going to walk 31.4 feet closer to the tree. So I'm going to put her over here with this distance of 31.4. Uh, what's next? Uh, she measured the angle of elevation to the top of the tree at 17 degrees. So from where she is now, the angle of elevation is 17 degrees. Uh, and the question says to calculate the height of the tree to the nearest meter. So that's this height here. We'll call that, uh, well, we'll just leave that for now. Um, we should label this triangle. So I'm going to label the triangle A, B, and C just so that we can refer to the different values here. We'll make that C a little bit bigger. All right, so if we look at this triangle, we're going to assume that this is a right angle in here. And if we're looking at this triangle, uh, we have this 17 degrees. We're trying to find the height over here. It's a right angle triangle. If we had one more side length, we would be able to uh, use either sine, cosine, or tangent to do that. We don't have that side length, so what we need to do is to work in this triangle over here first to find this hypotenuse of the right angle triangle. Um, and when I say the right angle triangle, I mean this one right here. So we're going to try to find this hypotenuse over here, uh, and, and then we can use that to find the missing value. So, um, if we look at this triangle, it's some, it's, you might find it helpful to actually take this triangle and draw it separate from the scenario. So uh, you certainly don't have to, but if you find t having two triangles is a little bit confusing, then by all means, go ahead and pull it apart. So this was C, this was A. Uh, I guess I need some value down here. Maybe we'll call this D, just so that we have some reference point. All right, uh, we also know that this is 31.4. Now, it kind of looks like we don't have enough information here. However, we are given in the question, we're given that this angle is 17 degrees. We can find this angle here in the triangle because we know that from here over to here is a straight line. The straight line has to be 180 degrees. So we can actually find that. Uh, I'm going to call that angle um, CDA. So angle... CDA then has to equal 180 minus uh, 17, which is equal to 163 degrees. So we know this angle now, 163. Remember, we're trying to find this. And if I label this triangle, here's angle C. So side length C will be over here. Angle A is here, so side A will be over here. Um, if we ha so we're trying to find C, we have its corresponding angle. We have A. If we had angle A, we'd be all set. We could use the sine law. We don't have it, but we can certainly calculate it. Angle A here, and I guess maybe we could call that DAC if we wanted to be consistent with what we have here is 180. All the angles in the triangle have to add to 180 minus the 15 that we were given minus the 163 uh, that we just calculated. And when we do that, we get two degrees. So this angle here, angle A, is two degrees. We now have an angle, its corresponding side length. We have another angle, and we're asked to find the corresponding side length. So this is a perfect candidate for using the sine law. So let's go ahead and set up the sine law. Uh, we have uh, information about C. We're trying to find information about A. So I'm going to use this version of the sine law. C over sine C equals A over sine A. And again, um, 
using this one where we have the lengths on top and the angles on the bottom because we're trying to find a side length, it's just a little bit easier. Let's plug in the values that we have. Uh, we don't know what side length C is, so we're going to leave that for now. Angle C is 15 degrees. Side A is 31.4 feet, and angle A is uh, 2 degrees. I think I forgot to write in what C was. So now we have a sine law kind of question. We've seen these before, so let's go ahead and solve this for C. Um, sorry, this should be sine of 2 degrees. Let's try that again. Sine A, so sine of 2 degrees. Uh, we know that sine of 2 degrees is just a number. Again, using your calculator in degree mode, we can plug that into the calculator, uh, and we should get 0 0.0349. And we can do the same thing for sine of 15. Plug that into the calculator and get 0.2588. So now we have an equation. We can solve that equation. Uh, before we do, maybe we can do the calculation over here, figure this out. It's just that uh, it works out to a number. So 31.4 divided by 0 0.0349. We do that and we get 899.71. Haven't changed anything on the left yet. Now we have an equation we need to solve for C. C is being divided by 0.2588. We undo that division by doing the inverse operation. So we're going to multiply by 0.2588. Let's try that again so it actually fits in there. 0.2588 times this one. And this was a 0.2588. Uh, so whatever we do on the left, we better do on the right. 0.2588 divided by 0.2588 is just 1. 1 times C is just C. So on the left, we have C. Go to the calculator. 899.71 times 0.2588 works out to 232.8. So we just found C. Remember that C was this distance up here of 232.8. Again, my diagram is getting really crowded, so I'm going to take apart the pieces of the diagram that we need. We just calculated the hypotenuse in this triangle here with a 17 degree angle uh, as 232.8. And we're trying to find, we'll call it the height if we want. So uh, we can now use a primary trig ratio, and I'll try to squeeze that right in here so that we can see the whole thing all at once. Um, start by, it's a right angle triangle. The hypotenuse is opposite the 90 degree angle. The opposite side is opposite this 17 degree angle that we have. This is a question that involves the opposite and the hypotenuse, which means we're gonna use sine. So just a reminder that the sine of an angle is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. Plug in the values that we have. The angle is 17 degrees. The opposite side we don't know. We'll call it H. And the hypotenuse is 232.8. Go ahead and solve this. Uh, we can do a couple ways. Uh, we can either figure out what the sine of 17 is and then uh, solve the equation or we can kind of do this all in one go. Right now H is being divided by this 232.8. We want to undo that division. So let's multiply by 232.8. If we multiply on this side by 232.8, we better do the same thing over here. These 232.8s divided by each, well, the one 232.8 divided by the other gives us one, leaving H on the right. And when we plug in the value here into the calculator, we get 68.1, uh, meaning that the height of the tree should be 68.1. Again, we were asked a, a, uh, to solve a problem. We should answer that problem, and that problem uh, can be answered in a statement. So therefore, the tree is 68.1 uh, feet tall. Remember, we were asked to go to the nearest uh, tenth, and so there we have it.